Hello, everybody. Our long EOA travel for Endotalk goes on. I'm very happy that uh, Amrita and myself uh, could travel to Tokyo. And uh, we have a very special guest here, Amrita. Hi, Thomas. Um, good to see you here again in Tokyo. And uh, today we have the honor and privilege of speaking with um, Professor Haru Inoue, who is absolutely no stranger to endoscopy and um, endoscopy on air. He is the director of the Digestive Disease Center at Showa University in Tokyo and the current president of the JGES. Haru, welcome. Yeah, nice to see you. Good. So Thomas and Amurita. It's good. So both of you are in, in the Tokyo? <laughs> yes, <laughs> not too far away. <laughs> <laughs> Close to yes, Tokyo. although um, we're not joining you on, um, it, it seems in some beautiful place. Where, where are you? <laughs> so now I'm in the uh, tea ground <laughs> of the golf course. I'm kidding. So now I'm uh, coming back to my office. Well, that's great. Well. Um, welcome. So as you know, the, um, the, the purpose of these talks is to just uh, to preview a little bit before endoscopy on air, which is going to be on June 4th, um, our global um, endos live endoscopy event. And we're very excited for, to join you or have, us, have you join us um, from Tokyo on, on, on June 4th it's coming up. So uh, before we uh, get started into endoscopy, tell us what the what the year has been like for you. Um, you know, with COVID and um, having had some extra time uh, quarantining. Mm. Yeah. So uh, so Tokyo uh, is also uh, the COVID situation is uh, not not only Tokyo. So all Japan is here. Uh, uh, so same to other part of the world. Um, so uh, particularly um, last year, yeah, so same thing happened in Japan. And then now the, uh, um, so we are getting some vaccination. So our situation is getting better than before. So how about you? Well, luckily, um... It certainly has been a difficult year as it has for everybody. And, and unfortunately, there are many, um, in, including those in India, for example, we just talked with Nagi Reddy, who are, they're still dealing um, with quite a bit for COVID. But luckily, New York um, and other areas of the US are, are opening up and we're looking forward to returning to a new normal. Um, there's uh, quite a bit of vac vaccinations going on. And I think um, the more we can encourage that, the more we'll open and be able to start to return to our, um, our normal uh, uh, routines. Yes, you um, know, but you're getting better. Yeah. yeah. But one thing that hasn't stopped is um, endoscopy and live endoscopy. And very much thanks to courses like this, it's hard to believe that it was a year ago that we had the first um, endoscopy on air. Um, can you share with us what your thoughts are on the event and um, some things that you're looking forward to in, in this upcoming um, event on, on June 4th? Yes. So uh, actually, uh, last year uh, the COVID um, uh, pandemic happened. So uh, so Thomas and uh, uh, Amrita and the uh, um, yes, so both of you started the uh, uh, endoscopy on air, and uh, of course uh, Lepici was uh, to, uh, yeah, together with you, and the uh, uh, that was the uh, last May, yeah. is it right? Yes. <laughs> Uh, no, it was June. Uh, it was June. June again. Uh, June. Yeah. So you organized a very nice the uh, um, endoscopy only that covered the whole world. So um, following the uh, time time change, so you control uh, the live demonstration. So that was the uh, so very very good 
and very uh, impressive for us. Yes, so uh, time goes very fast. So this year, the second time. So I hope uh, this uh, project uh, works well this year as well in such a, a tough situation by COVID. And so this is not the only meeting you, you had uh, your meeting last year, you were able to have virtually, I, I believe, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And again, um, this year, there will be a, a virtual meeting in Tokyo. Um, do you think this is the way of our future? Or, or will we return um, to all, all live in person events the way we had before? Uh -huh. So <laughs> It's the same question to you. <laughs> I think I think uh, um, so. Uh, this kind of a, a webinar uh, system is uh, working very well. I think so. Um, we can uh, we can join the conference uh, with some coffee or sometimes uh, eating mm -hmm. and be uh, more relaxed. Sometimes on on bed we can see the uh, very nice lecture uh, here. A very nice lecture. So uh, lecture and the live demo. So um, more and more potential we have, I think. And the uh, so um, conventional conventional live demo style is also good. We can meet physically, and then um, uh, yes, after live demonstration, so <laughs> we can take some uh, nice dinner. So that's a good communication tool. And the uh, yes, we spend the same time together. So but, but anyway, both styles we can we can uh, joining is the most important, I think. So yeah. what's your opinion, both of you? Thomas? Well, um, there's one aspect uh, which is really vital. And uh, I must say that Haru um, is, is a great teacher and he was my teacher for poem. So when I read first about his first paper, I, I, I reached out and said, Haru, could you teach me? And uh, I think with Corona, he couldn't have come to Hamburg. So he really showed up and he was incredibly patient standing behind me. You know, I was uh, stumbling around in the mediastinum almost, and he <laughs> stayed calm and so, and this is unthinkable uh, online. So I think uh, at least for myself, um, <clears throat> I'm hoping for some uh, meeting in presence. And I guess we'll, we'll find out what the best, mix, uh, the best mixture is. So you invite five people, but you can connect to 15 others. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to uh, uh, continue on the, the topic of training, um, Haru, not only have you tra traveled and uh, to, the, to all over the world to mentor and teach POEM, um, I think literally three countries in two days, um, but you've also invited uh, trainees from all over the world um, to join you in, in Tokyo. And um, so do you have any advice or thoughts about um, for trainees and for those interested who are interested in getting join, um, beginning poem? Um, how, how will this affect education? And have you thought at all about how you will teach um, uh, techniques like poem going forward? Uh, yes, <clears throat> thank you very much. It's a very important question. So um, training. So particularly uh, the doctor uh, endoscopist who uh, want to start a poem, so uh, have to have a, a good knowledge and also uh, some techniques. So um, um, from my idea, uh, my point of view, I recommend uh, to watch a um, very nice video of the procedure uh, repeated. It's a, like a music music video. So <laughs> repeatedly watch, watch, watch. And the, uh, uh, if you like uh, your procedure, so uh, it's better to repeat, to watch the uh, procedures by expert hands. That is the first step, I think. And also at the same time, so um, we, uh, have to have the knowledge of anatomy 
And uh, most of the endoscopist who perform a US uh, shall have a very nice uh, knowledge of uh, anatomy. So, um, so I, I, I generally feel the uh, endoscopist who perform the EUS um, have the good knowledge of a mediastinum. So it's okay. So uh, when uh, the endoscopist uh, starts the first poem, so even in a submucosal tunnel, so uh, of course, uh, Amrita and the Thomas, so both of you know the, um, so fats exist behind the muscle layer. <laughs> So you know well, so uh, you can do a much uh, safer uh, poem or uh, submucosal en endoscopy as well. So now, now we uh, open the technique to our Tsenka poem and the uh, gastric poem uh, like that. So submucosal endoscopy uh, technique uh, um, extended so very widely. So anyway, so it's uh, like, uh, a uh, new new field of uh, therapeutic endoscopy. So anyway, so coming back to the uh, uh, education. So our first step, particularly um, uh, who performs a poem first, first time. So at the time, uh, watching the video of the very nice procedure is a, I think, a simple way, the fastest fastest way uh, to get the knowledge. Well, that's fascinating. So, so it sounds like you um, are suggesting that uh, those who are going to be participating in third space endoscopy have mastery of EUS, which is really the first time we're hearing a combination of, of third space and, and EUS. And that probably, Thomas, that probably makes you happy having been one of the pioneers of EUS. Well, there's always a comeback, Amrita, so I'm not worried. Uh, uh. <laughs> I have a, I have a special question to Haru. Uh, Haru, um, you know the Japanese culture, which many of us adore, is very different. So if you go to one of your wonderful smaller restaurants, you're watching people preparing food with uh, great care and deliberately and slow, and uh, the same thing you have uh, taught to the world in endoscopy. So not the quick, quick and dirty in out endoscopy, but watching, magnifying, staining everything. Uh -huh. So this was very, very influential. But how how do you see this will develop? So with tendencies like artificial intelligence coming up, do you think that's not necessary anymore? And we'll go back to quick and dirty because the computer tells us everything. Oh. It's, uh, it's uh, another important question. So I have a same question to both of you. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I think um, uh, AI or big data, uh, that is, uh, um, I think uh, it's the same to any other field. So same thing happened in uh, uh, endoscopy. So it's a uh, CAD, CAD E and uh, CAD, CAD X, it's the same. So uh, even a uh, uh, polyp detect, starting from the polyp detection in the colon and the uh, tissue characterization as well. So AI works, uh, it's a like a uh, car navigation or navigation uh, at the, uh, in the uh, aviation. It's the same thing. It's like, uh, um, now we are so far, so far at the time of a fiber scope, I'm, I'm really there, uh, don't know well, <laughs> but the uh, Thomas and me, well, well known, the uh, uh, starting from a fiberscope directly watch the target, but the, uh, after that, so like this, like this way, television camera, and then uh, now it's a time maybe that 20, 10 years later, 20 years later, uh, we have some. Uh, artificially created image. So combination of some data, anatomy data, and the, if, if, we, if we click on the image, we can see a behind tissue, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and there are some caution, you are trying to cut the vessel, so please stop it. 
<laughs> or like that. So, Thomas, what do you think about? Well, I'm 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 not sure. I'm just envisioning, you know, the, you and other Japanese masters, and the computer tells you maybe you say no. I don't believe it. So, <laughs> so it's like it's like like in chess, right? So uh, you play chess against the computer. So maybe you play uh, uh, endoscopic imaging against the computer in two years. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious and. Uh, <laughs> I think it will be more readily accepted by Western culture. We say, okay, the computer tells it, we go on. But uh, I wonder whether you Japanese masters say, wait a second, uh, I don't believe that. <laughs> ah, but, but so, um, yeah, yeah. So point is, I think the uh, AI has uh, no fatigue, no fatigue. So uh, we are trying uh, so, so many endoscopies, so we actually exhausted. But uh, AI, so with a battery, so no, no exhaust. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, not, not a fighting of the endoscopist and the AI. So we, we are uh, su supporting each other, covering each other, and then uh, uh, getting more safer and the, uh, yes. So um, yeah, we can, we can detect so early cancer more and more, and the uh, uh, we, we can perform the uh, ESP for the patients. So uh, without receiving a surgical resection. So Haru, you have um, truly changed um, the way uh, the field of endoscopy with POEM. I don't know if you would have ever imagined that um, this technique would have now been applied to so many pretty much throughout the entire GI tract, I think. Um, and then you followed with your techniques for fund application. Um, so wondering where you're headed now. I mean, what's what's your next frontier in terms of new techniques uh, wow. that you'll be sharing wow. with the world? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, but uh, so endoscopy is a, uh, so not only endoscopy, science, medicine, so everything uh, going ahead. And the, actually myself, uh, uh, when I start, the, I remember very well, um, 12 years ago, when I uh, did the first uh, case of the poem. So before it, um, I read the publication of the J. Pashulicha, so using the animal pig model, so he uh, reported uh, the uh, power endoscopic myotomy uh, using POSI model. And uh, when I read his article, I, I, I simply think we can do it in a human. So uh, of course I arrange a little bit, but anyway, so like, like that, so, um, share our knowledge and uh, read the uh, uh, each other's report and then so we think 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 together and then so we endoscopist uh, get the advanced advance and the uh, uh, such kind of a, a step forward um it's a very good thing uh, for the patient simply simply good for patients are uh, minimally invasive uh, treatment. So it used to be uh, even a college patient receives the uh, hera doll. It's a uh, uh, I'm I, I'm I'm surgeon, so um, I, I I know well about the hera doll procedure. But uh, uh, so poem is uh, more and uh, less effective, uh, less invasive, definitely, and the uh, effectiveness is uh, at at least same level. So of course, <laughs> Thomas uh, uh, always said the uh, so potential risk of a reflux disease, but now we have some solutions uh, for it. So uh, Haru, um, this year you are the president of JGES. Um, uh, congratulations. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell us what your um, agenda is or your, your hopes are for the society for this year? And I know you've increased your international uh, designees. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm honored to join you. Ah, thank you so much. Yeah. 
so what are your hopes for this society? What, what will you focus on um, for this year? Uh, so um, one of the uh, um, uh, big um, task uh, of myself is, I think, a globalization of the Japanese society of uh, uh, GI endoscopy. So uh, I, I want to uh, support and uh, I want to do uh, uh, something to our uh, um, uh, internationalization, globalization of the JGS. I do something. So uh, simply, simply uh, um, so my English is also broken, but anyway, so uh, speaking in English is the most important for us. So, so uh, particularly younger generation, uh, uh, so we have a uh, lots of uh, nice uh, uh, French speaker of English uh, endoscopist. So, uh, it's my task. Well, whether it's something that um, was forced by COVID or or maybe a benefit, I think that will be easier to do with our new virtual world is to is to make this very international or make your society very international and be able to really interact um, with much more ease and not have to travel. Um, so I, as I mentioned to you earlier, I was going to ask a little bit about non endoscopy. Uh, the Olympics are coming to to Tokyo soon, I, yes. I believe. Yes, summer. we are very welcome, and uh, yes, even in a tough situation. So I think also my personal, my personal idea is a, uh, uh, doing, doing is a uh, keep doing is the most important. So carefully, carefully, uh, but uh, I hope uh, we are very welcome, <laughs> athletes from all over the world. So if you um, if you were participating in the Olympics, you're. And not, uh, a, not an endoscopist, a, what, are, what, would, what would you like to be competing in? Uh -huh. So uh, our hospital is uh, located in the uh, lo uh, in, uh, loca location of the uh, Olympic game. So we are almost the center of the venue. So, so, <laughs> so we have to support the uh, yes, health care for the Olympic games. Um, but I've seen you um, as a, I've seen you bowl competitively, competitive bowling. Um, are there any other uh, sports or hobbies that you have um, picked up during the, um, some of the time that we've had uh, not traveling around the world <laughs> this past year? Ah, uh, so uh, yes, of course. Uh, last last one year, so we have no chance to go Abe Road. So myself, I, I enjoy the, the playing golf and the, yes. So how about you? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I've been, I've probably enjoyed um, watching Netflix. <laughs> it's become my new <laughs> hobby. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, I think that's, that's about our time. Uh, we're very excited, uh, really excited to be joining you um, in, in Tokyo and traveling with all of our friends around the world come June 4th. Um, any final thoughts before we see you uh, in just a week? Yes, yes. So, uh, yes, one week. Okay, great. Well, we look forward to it and thank you for, um, for talking with us today. Thank, thank you, you also from my side and uh, please join us uh, on June 4 and uh, see all your favorite experts and above all Haru and Haru will tell you some tips and tricks in the tunnel. So join us, yeah. thank you.